Hey everybody, what's up? Omega Given here. Let's get to it. This is a, a Township Tale update video because there is a update out, so we are going to cover it. So let's go to my desktop view really quick and let's look over this. This is update one or 0 0.1.5 because technically this is a zero i mean it's not a full production game uh, i don't know how that's possible since you're released on quest all right but still okay update is out hi all thanks for all for your patience and waiting for on this update i know you're all curious about what happened and i will share you, you some reflections below because this is about one week uh delay actually one week and like one day delay since they said they would come out but i said that they probably needed extra time anyway so in my one my one video so yeah we, we, we had to wait anyways but first what is update about all right this update introduces a new seasonal experience fixes quality of life issues and enhances the previous climbing release excellent all right important a bug in the 0.1 Point four means that even if you had completed the climbing tower, you probably don't have full stamina unlocked. You will need to recomplete the tower in 0.1.5. Well, that's kind of a bummer. Um, I actually kind of hope that they introduce that um, the climbing uh, uh, update kind of command because there is a command that gives you climbing, but it's only available on PC VR. Because that would be very helpful because that would suck in a uh, quest if you have to recomplete it. Because I know it takes like hours of time and sometimes you're just like, I did it all. Do you know how much time it takes and how stressful it is to do it? So hopefully they introduce that command. Uh, we disable drop your gear and bag when you die on all servers today. Um, wait. Drop, oh, disabled drop your gear and bag when you die on all the servers. I always get confused with this statement. See the last blog for our details on how to re-enable it. Okay, well that makes sense. That makes sense. So it seems like every update will just have to re-enable it if you're a hardcore server. Um, so it might they might just do that on every update, anyways. All right, additions: Christmas Festival Zone with a seasonal quest where you can get a co a free cosmetic item, which is the fluffy hat, which is awesome. So that you got that zone, four new climbing areas. Oh, so those what those were? There's some climbing areas in the the uh, supporter the area. <laughs> And yeah, so that's kind of nice. Four new climbing areas. A floating orb that will help players on new servers identify the most important resource boxes. Oh, that's what that was. I have a little clip of me like looking at an orb trying to grab it and everything. <laughs> and that's there. There's an orb for most important resource boxes, which I think one of them is by the tele televator. So that's solid. A new loading screen. I noticed that. That's pretty cool. It's really cool loading screen. Death Ferns in the quest version. Oh, Death Ferns in the quest version of the game. Oh, I didn't realize they introduced Death Ferns into the quest version of the game. Visual indicators for grab assist. I think that was already there. Oh, I think they're talking about the dotted line. So I think they added a dotted line so you can be able to see what you're grabbing um, and like what direction it's going to be pulled in. So that's kind of nice. Labels for the quick access menu items. So now when you uh, like open up the menu, like the blue bubbles, you can now when you uh, scroll over one, it will show you what, what that one is. So that's kind of a little, you know, help. Um, the camera now works on Quest. Oh my gosh, Quest. You guys are getting a lot of the good things this time around. Repair boxes and actions that require resources are easier to use. Repair boxes and actions that require resources are easier to use. I don't know what that means. There might be just like some quality of life issues there that are fixed. Server search, that's kind of nice. And so now when you're in the main menu, when you're before you enter your world, there's a server search, which is kind of helpful. Um, I haven't given it a try. I'll have to give it a try. Uh, maybe we'll do a stream tomorrow with, um, featuring all these things. But I'm busy today to be able to do this. Redwood cores added to quest in the chests in the new climbing areas. So that means that you can finally use that or do the heaviest things without spawn commands. That's gonna be nice. New heaviest towers and climbing ropes. That's gonna be fun. All right, changes. Shaking your hands to regen stamina is now based on a percent of your max stamina per second rather than a flat rate. That's good. Um, I guess that makes it so it might reload your stamina a little bit too much if you're all the way fully leveled up but i don't know we'll see um handover interactions should have more obvious visual feedback okay stamina health and the hunger ui is cleaner yes i kind of noticed that it was a little bit cleaner um accessibility settings are on by default that's actually good um i i don't know if that was on by default or not but 
I always enjoy accessibility settings because it's just so helpful. Even if I don't need accessibility because it's meant for people that might have a hard time with like VR because of disabilities of some sort, it's super helpful. <laughs> just so you don't have to get up and down and all that stuff, especially if you get tired or sore or something like that. All right, Steam input should it work correctly for Xbox controllers? Full finger control. That's awesome. That would gain full finger control back for some of those controllers. Um, the camera no longer has black shadowing on PC. This is gonna be so nice for uh, thumbnailing. <laughs> oh man, that's that was a pain. You no longer regain stamina while climbing as speed rate. What? All right, you no longer gain stamina while climbing at speed. It starts refilling after blah 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 of staying still. Wait, do you regain stamina? Oh, oh, I see, I see what you mean. So like, you do regain stamina when you're standing, not like sitting still. But yeah, all right, player bags have friction now. Interesting. Um, the you got kicked message is displayed correctly on the client. Okay, and very small issues. All right, known issues. It looks like the HGT Vive controller hand positions are wrong when set to Steam in the launcher. Okay, we're happy to have this update out and we hope everyone gets a kick out of it. So this is a ton of changes. Like like you got tower and then you got this uh, this is crazy how much they're adding in so far we'll see if this continues um i wouldn't expect this to continue just get your expectations a little lower we don't want to like have more people angry about something that they don't need to be angry about um but yeah so that's awesome um and now let's talk about so why was the release late this is probably what um, a lot of people are interested in because they're probably frustrated about stuff so let's read this that's on me sorry as you may have seen in Discord, I became the project leader on a Township Tale about eight weeks ago. The game is rad. So I think this is uh, Jack. Yeah, this is Jack, just letting you guys know. Um, so we're speaking for Jack here. The game is rad and I got too excited. I wanted to show the community that we were going to be a new communicative, rapidly moving team. And I bit off more than we could chew. I'm sad that we missed the date and I have learned that we needed to go a little slower. But that, but there was one really big upside to the experience. It was a, lit, a bit lit, like a smoke test. We uh, dialed the system to full pressure and uh, next we will review the points of friction or failure that will show us uh, where we need to improve. A short release uh, also uh, allowed me to uh, see our pipeline end to end across the whole team. My specialty is helping the software teams to deliver projects efficiently and effectively. So now that I have seen the process, I can see myriad ways for us to set up our game in 2023. And this blog is already too long, but I want to leave you hype for 2023 because I know I am. We are ready to start work on big ideas and we are going to need your help to do that. Expect to hear more from me on this soon. And if you have any amazing ideas for the game, Make sure to submit it to the feedback forum, which is a great place to submit your feedback, guys, to like things that you want added into the game, things to upvote because it, people have already mentioned it before and stuff like that. Uh, I, I, it's kind of funny because uh, I think uh, I've seen a couple of his comments about like, you know, just like the prog progression of the stuff. And it, it's really good to see that like we're getting some more communication, but we also need to make sure we realize that even though we have two solid updates month to month right now, we, they are going to need to go slower because we don't want tons of bugs. Um, if you're a supporter, you have access to um, a few things. You're able to like access the new features sooner, but not but on like their test servers. And I got to tell you, it was laggy. It was so buggy. Like I, I hopped into it and I'm like, OK, I'm going to check this out later when my eyes are OK, like to like see this. So I had to come in later and then I did the little quests and everything. It was decent. It was fairly fun, but it was there's a lot of just I don't even know. It's like I could do a bug report, but it's like for so many things. I'm like, I'm pretty sure they, they're aware of this. So just like the little laggy things and, and just performance issues, but that's okay. Um, it, it's just going to take time for them to do updates and such. Um, if you guys like these updates, um, please like and subscribe. I literally just read these things to you guys. Um, but I'm super excited to uh, see these things in the SMP because I know the SMP, we're going to be doing some crazy stuff lately. Um, uh, there's going to be a session tonight, which uh, I'm not going to be there for, or maybe I will. I don't know. We'll see if I make it. Um, 
fix ends past 10 p.m. I might make it. But okay, thanks for watching, guys. Um, go watch a whole bunch of my other videos. I don't do just a township tale. I do a bunch of other stuff like see if these videos, live streams, shorts of of my live streams. Just go check them all out, guys, because I know sometimes those those don't get recommended to people because they are only seeing a township tale. But yeah, see ya. Bye.